This journey is about coming home to your sacred heart, the love that you are, your timeless being, the God essence within you. And if you have met your twin flame on this journey, their role is as a catalyst for this, first and foremost. It's easy and it's a necessary part of the journey to get caught up in the dualistic play of chasing or seeking outside of yourself and allowing the egoic mind to go into the past or future projections in order to attempt to fill this inner void that you're feeling when you ultimately face the deep rejection, abandonment, and or betrayal that your divine counterpart triggers. This void is not fillable by any external means. And you can even say that that's the case whether you're trying to fill it with money or a new career or moving or finding a, you know, whatever. Any, anything that you're trying to do to fill this void, especially when it comes to a relationship because the relationship is going to be a mirror for you. And to the degree that you are running from your own heart, your sacred heart, your conscious heart, the portal that connects you to the love of God, to the love of the divine, to the unity that connects all things. And the word connects, I'm probably going to stop using that word because the word connect implies that there's two separate things that can come together and that's a misrepresentation of what I'm trying to say because there is no two things coming together. There's oneness. There's timeless, eternal presence. Timeless, eternal presence, omnipresence, infinite presence, which can only be accessed through your sacred heart, which is the portal. Now, oftentimes, the human heart that can be wounded and carry pain and hurt gets broken open in order to begin to allow this descent into your sacred heart. Opening up to the love that you are at the core of your being is like falling in love. Falling in love with the truth of who you are and your God essence. So if you find yourself on this journey and your core wounds have been activated, this is an invitation from the divine that has come through your divine counterpart for you to go inward, showing you and pointing you to, for you to go inward. This is an invitation for that. And a lot of Divine Feminines will spend a lot of time on this journey. Instead of going inward, they will allow their awareness, their consciousness to be focused externally outside of themselves on other people in order to fill this void. And and the paradox here is that when you come home to the sacred heart, the love that you are, the timeless essence of your being, 
there is only this. There is only this beingness that is all things. So this mental concept of others, even other people falls away because you begin to see that you are connected to everyone and that they are all a reflection of you. Now on this journey, in this incarnation, your soul, the divine essence of your being, chose your twin flame, which is a mirror for you, as your catalyst for this journey. So wherever you find yourself stuck in bitterness, anger, or resentment, or wherever you find yourself ruminating about the past, trying to justify things or point blame or whatever, or wherever you find yourself running from one apparent person to another apparent person, again, whether that be a significant romantic partnership or friendship or family member or whatever, in order to extract the love that you feel you need, that's fine. I'm not going to say it's not part of the journey because it is part of the journey and you can do that for as long as you need to until you don't need to anymore. But for those of you that have the ears to hear this and are at that place where you are, you're already resonating with this because you know it to be true it's time to fully fall in love with the truth of your being stop chasing storylines stop chasing future projections stop trying to find what you're looking for in some externalized uh, form again, people or other situations or whatever, in order to make you feel worthy, lovable, good enough. Because the love that you are seeking outside of yourself already exists within you at the center of your being, beyond time beyond the world of form. It cannot be found in the future. It cannot be found in mental concepts or projections. And you cannot think your way there. The timeless essence of your being is your sacred heart that exists now and is the portal that connects you to the love that you are and to the God essence within you. Now, there's nothing that needs to occur in your reality for this to be true now. You are playing a game of life where you're able and perfectly allowed to believe in the concepts that the mind throws at you and the distractions that the mind throws at you to get you to go down as many rabbit holes as your soul deems necessary until you eventually come home to yourself. But let me just share with you that all roads lead home. All roads eventually will lead you home where you realize that this has always been the pathless path and the journeyless journey because you don't have to do anything in order to come home to yourself right now. You don't have to be any different And again, this is a paradox because there will be an apparent journey 
There will be a healing of your human heart that occurs. There will be a releasing of stagnant emotions. And that's part of the process too. But this love has never left you. This love inside you is timeless and eternal. It's never left you. You can replace this word love with the, with the word divine or God, if you like, or whatever word you want to use. It has never left you. You are one. Seek first the kingdom of God. Meaning come home to your sacred heart to the love that you are, to the God essence within you. And from this place of being, from this beingness, right? Because you can only be this. You can only be this love. You can't do anything to be it. You can only be it. And as you be one with the love and God essence within you. Guess what happens in the 3D world that is only a reflection and mirror of what you have going on within your mind-body vehicle, within your center. Life is a reflection and a mirror. Your relationships are a reflection and a mirror. Your life circumstances are a reflection and a mirror. All roads lead home eventually, whether this lifetime or the next. But if you're listening to this, you chose this lifetime to awaken to the divine essence that you are at the core of your being. Recognize the egoic mind at play that wants to distract you with externalized things outside of yourself. And again, this is a paradox because there is no outside of you truly because your divine essence, your God essence is omnipresent, timeless, infinite, and eternal. This oneness is all things. So in truth, There is no outside of you. You are everything. It's impossible to speak of the divine essence of that which you are and embodying it in this 3D reality without speaking in paradox. Are you willing to trust fall into the love that you are. If you truly knew that you are a child of God and the God essence is within you, as you, through you, and you are one with all of creation, would you need to seek anything? The The egoic mind does not like to hear this. You may be feeling resistance right now internally as you hear this. And that's beautiful because with your awareness, you can recognize how strong the egoic mind's pull is on your conscious divine presence. Seek first the kingdom of God. And life will reflect that back to you. 
Try to muscle your way through this journey with the egoic mind, seeking things externally outside of yourself because let's be honest, at the root of that is fear-based consciousness or lack consciousness in some way that underpins all of those actions or inactions that the egoic mind hooks you into. If you continue to allow the egoic mind to pull you, you will continue to suffer on this journey. And that's all fine too. I can't say that there's anything wrong with that because suffering is the great awakener. Many people suffer before they awaken to their true nature before they are able to fully live from the divine presence that they are. And so suffering is necessary on this journey until it's no longer necessary. And if you're listening to this and you're still with me and you haven't clicked away to go find some other mind food out there to feed your egoic mind, then you are ready to hear these words. I am not speaking to your mind. I'm speaking to the core of your being that already knows that this incarnation is for you to come home to yourself and set yourself free from the mental prison and projections that your mind will cast on you. This is the message that wanted to come through. I hope this finds you well. If you did get value from this, I would love to hear from you in the comments. If you feel there's other people that would benefit from hearing this message, please like it, please share it. And... Until next time, I hope this finds you well. Namaste.